you may want your construction team to do a mass planting of a, a group of plants in say this area denoted by that closed polyline. We have a tool to enable you to do that. Let's say we want to put some anthuriums in there. We will go ground cover, follow the prompts, select a line, indicate our area unit, spacing them at 18 inches, abbreviation there, plant list, anthurium there, OK there, and the number, this will be zone number one, and we'll OK there. First point of a leader, so we're going to tag the zone, so through to there. The routine calculates we're going to need 154 individual plants through that area. Uh, at, an, at a um, spacing of 1800, you might think, well, gee, that's a bit too many, and you might double it to, say, 3 feet, um, 36 inches. Now, the prompt continues on and says insert the point number for the, for the label. So in it goes, and we pull away from that point there, and I'll make it a little bit larger, and we click, and the zone, the zone number, and I left it at 2, went in there. So we're, we have a, a text piece, of a leader, which says that in that zone, 154AN are going to be planted in that particular zone. So that's one way of handling a massed planting area. Let's eliminate it. And we can use a patterning tool if we want to. So GCAD plus pattern ground cover. We can select our symbol. We put the symbol in and select the closed line. Now we're asked to input a distance value and or we could just click two points so from there to say about there. What patterning angle? Let's do it at 45 degrees. That's a bit trendy at the moment and in goes the symbol and we can eliminate the zone there. So we've got a whole series of uh, ground cover and theoriums planted at a 45 degree angle working through that zone. So either of those tools will work for you, but in this case you have to get the plant schedule to redo it to calculate all of those and to add those up.